What would you say, and I know you attend a lot of shows and mm -hmm. even meets, mm -hmm. what would you say your top three shows are? Top my three top favorite three shows. Top three shows, um, I think my number one has got to be Slammed Enough. Okay. Um, this because in my in my in my realm of stuff, I'm a, I do competitive stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I believe that in the in the gist of shows um, was very well competitive, very high in you know, a higher end of the builds, right? You know, because the the bigs of the bigs, the heavy hitters, go to that show and get accepted and compete, and so it's always nice to see where you stand versus everybody else in those kind of shows, right? Because they compete everywhere here gotcha. in Texas. Like we're going to. Slamming enough on Austin, August twenty yeah. second, yep. coming up this month, and then we're also traveling to Tennessee to Slam enough in Gatlinburg. Oh wow! So we got a house rented and everything, yeah. and a trailer set up. So very cool. We're making the 16, 18 hour drive, yeah, over to Tennessee for for that one because that's apparently one of the bigger ones they do or host, one of the more competitive ones. Yeah. So it'd be nice to see that a the different scene over in over sure, there in absolutely. that area, absolutely, and just and you know see what they think of. Our Texas bills and what yeah. we got going on here because yeah. every every state is different. Yeah. Um. So that's probably my number one show. Um. I think my second favorite. Um, has got to be um, import face off is one, one okay. of my second point because yeah. they're very they're very prominent they're very consistent yeah and very very well organized in their shows right because they do it all year all the time yeah and very well and the guys the guys who run that thing are very entertaining and fun and make of course most of their shows are outdoors right so right you, you right cook bring out drinks right bring out tents and everything like that so of course a lot of times incorporate different things like drag racing or right or the limbo contest or the speakers whatever or you know rev contest and it just makes it more of a full out show um and i gotta say if my third it hasn't happened in a while unfortunately what would be TSP Slam? That was that, of, yeah, yeah. One of my one of my first <laughs> ones I went to. Personally, one of my favorites because it, it kind of introduced me to the, into the big car scene stuff, right? And, yeah. And um, I really I really missed that show. Did you go to eighteen or nineteen? Um, I believe I went to eight, um, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, yeah. The first one. Yeah. I think so. No, I went to nineteen. My, I went to the second 19, one. Nineteen, second one. I went yeah, to the yeah. second one. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Because it was, of course, you had the you had the drag racing on the on the track and everything like that. Cause all the other different things, right? The yeah. burnout stuff, right? Yeah. Just so much going on. I really enjoyed it for being my first experience of of a car show. Sure. Per sure. se, right? And I, I really missed that show. Yeah. That was, that was I, really, we missed it too, man. I, 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 we I, missed it too. We're we're working with TMS. We're trying to do a two day show, so uh -huh. we're not cramming in three thousand vehicles yeah, into yeah, one yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to add on more entertainment, believe mm -hmm. it or not, even though we had a lot going on. Um, and TMS right now is just waiting for NASCAR and um, Indy schedule to come out for twenty twenty two. So yeah, go yeah. schedule around and it, right? Schedule around it. Yeah. So that's that's the hang up. Nobody's mm -hmm. really booking anything for next year there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I told myself earlier this year when we all still had to wear masks and all the COVID yeah, yeah. stuff. I'm like. I don't want to throw on an event and people have to show up in mass. I just, yeah. I just wanted that to be over with. Of course. Um, of course, being outside, it'd be absolutely. A Here you in know, Texas, man. Uh, absolutely. You know, I mean, TMS gets hot. Oh man. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't even matter what, what, what part of the year, you know, yeah, what exactly. season it's just warm over there. Uh -huh. Um, but we're working on it. Um, so hopefully, Hopefully we can lock in some dates and make mm -hmm. that happen. So we're excited about it. Awesome, man. And uh, we'll be collabing with some folks and making it big. I'm glad to hear that. I'll, so, I'll bring. I'm bringing the whole squad out for absolutely, that one. Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna. It's gonna be fun. I think the it's last time I went to was when I was in charge of Allen Car Club back then. Oh wow, that's yeah. right. That's I, right. When I ran that meet, that was a, yeah. that was a while ago. It sure was. Yeah, and I and I brought a whole group of me on that too. And I was yeah. I, like I said, that was a one of my first experiences of like of um, organizing. You know, a rollout to a big meet like sure, that. Of course, sure. you know, there's one thing for me hosting the meet, right? I'll, I'll right. be here Mondays. It was on Mondays and Allen, right? So be here Monday at this time. Cool, 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 right? Don't rev. All that fun right. stuff. Right. But my first time trying to get a big group of people together, right? And I remember we did a, we, we did a cruise to pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. from, from Allen all the way there. Went from Allen, McKinney, to Denton, and then to Fort Worth, yeah. to the, to the um, Motor Speedway. And it was I, you know, whenever f hearing feedback from after that, people enjoyed all that fun stuff. I was like, cool. Yeah. And now I kind of do the same thing now with my team.